Alright, hi guys, you're back here again with Barry, and uh, we just did a video with uh, who became a friend of mine, Juan, and I think uh, over a short period of time we've got another couple that's going to be with us, and it's a privilege, because it's another person that hails from the Dominican Republic, and as an outsider who's lived here, you have no idea how that makes, how good that can make somebody feel when you can help them come back to their own country and they have enough trust in you that you know something about their own country because you can't fool these people. Anyway, I want to, without any delay, I want to reintroduce you to one, a troublemaker named Nathaniel, and we're <laughs> right at home together, and his lovely wife, Librada. Guys, just say hello to the camera, and this is real loose, and don't. Just have fun with it, because that's all we're here to do. Well, hi, my name is Librada, and in Espanol es Librada. So uh, I am, I was born, sorry, I was born in Santo Domingo, the capital of the Dominican Republic, and I have lived all my life there until I transitioned to, to uh, Indiana, San Luis, and now I'm working as a dyslexia and reading specialist bilingual in, with Dallas Independent School District in Texas. Nathaniel, you guys uh, met each other quite some time ago, but recently decided to make things all legal and yep. happy. And I mean, it's been a few days. I'm not saying you know the country, but you have seen a, a taste at least. First of all, you now know I'm, I'm just what you see. <laughs> what yep. you see is what you get. Huh? No. You know, I, and, but uh, share a little bit what your visions are about uh, our region. Of the, it's a big country, but at least our little region of it. What, yeah. do, you, what do you see? No, I'm, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. It's um, came here. I'd never been here. So obviously wanted to come and get a feel for it. I'm kind of one of those feel type people. You're going to kind of feel if you fit or not. Um, yeah, and I've loved it. Um, obviously, it's you go on the internet, it's easy to see that you're looking at, you know, Cabarete and Las Terrenas and, you know, Puerto Plata and all different kinds of stuff. There's glamorous, and then you come to Cabrera, and you're in that town where this is where people live and work, and it's been real enjoyable, beautiful area, and as Barry always says, lots of food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, you um, you were a an athlete and pole vaulter, so you were actually shipped into many countries. So that that's the kind of the thing that. A lot of people I meet haven't really traveled as much, and that and that kind of with your experience of other countries and everything, it, you you feel quite comfortable. It ranks okay. Yeah, it's livable. Yeah, very comfortable. Yeah, I've been spent a lot of years doing you know traveling Europe and Asia and China. Lived in China, lived in Europe. Um, yeah, so coming here to Dominican Republic and uh, helping my wife, you know, wife come back and fulfill some of the dreams she has to help Dominican Republic people and stuff like that. Yeah, it's been great. It's a great fit. I love it. What made you have such a desire to come back home after all these years in America? It's been good to you, America. Why why, why come back home? And and you, yes, the, these people are trends-oriented people, all of my subscribers. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's beautiful. You can talk freely. Well, I love the United States since I was you know, uh, my mother was one of the lawyers for the American Embassy, and so I always grew up with the Gringos. So I just love the Gringos and America. I mean, I am an I am Dominican, but I love America. So that's why I'm married to a Gringo. <laughs> so um, not, not because she loves me. Or <laughs> <like> that, <but laughs> no. So anyway, um, I. Um, I transitioned to the United States because my father wanted me to be more fluent in English because since I uh, studied English since I was a, a little girl here but I didn't I was not fluent speaking so I just went there but now I want to come back because I am a reading specialist I work with kids with dyslexia and you know those of you that don't know what dyslexia is that kids are very smart but the part of the brain that have to do with um, sound letter relationship they quite don't get it and some of them are uh, very severe some of them are not and I work at, with Dallas Independent School District and I have been studying a lot I have been trained with that so I want to come back to help especially the, the kids in the in the public school mm -hmm. um, and you know that is in my heart this is a calling that I have 
and I am very passionate about it. And also, you know, I didn't know a lot about the Dominican Republic. Honestly, I was born in the Dominican Republic, but I was all the time in, you know, in Puerto Rico. I mean, be, be, between Santo Domingo and Puerto Rico, so I really don't know my country. So I learned a lot through Barry's uh, video, and I have seen that a lot of people that have traveled all over the world, they choose the Dominican Republic to leave. So that was very interesting to me because I said, oh my gosh, I need to, I want to go there to help the kids. I didn't know that I wanted to live here because I was, you know, this is, a, 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 although I am Dominican, is I am more adapted to the American, that everything is fast, I want it right now, here it's not like that, it's more no. relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, when I was, when I used to visit here, I kind of get annoyed by that, so I didn't want to live here. But now that that I'm, you know, really transitioning to be, um, to, to be retired, you know, we can live here with much less Plus, you know, retirement for me is going to be opening a school, maybe work at the public system here just to know the system and, you know, help the kids that are dyslexic. That's really what really draws draw me here. You guys, um, we were talking a lot, as my subscribers know over the years, I'm very much into frequencies and Nathaniel and the same thing there's no there's no doubt about that what you want to do is not only needed it is a beautiful gesture to do it and it can be done because it is not going to cost hardly any money to get this started and when you come back I'm promising you something and I didn't want to say it on stage yet I will be able to get the deputy to help you out nice. and meet the right people to get this started for you. Oh, yeah. Awesome. And, and he will awesome. do it because we need it. And bless people that will help other people, regardless of belief, color, creed, preferences. Mm -hmm. And I love that. I want to kind of also say something. The last little while, I have been blessed because. First it was one, then it was another couple, then another couple that from America and Wisconsin came to revisit even though it was short. You met them at the mm -hmm. coffee shop. And now you guys, it's just, and after this I'm taking a month off, I'm baked as a cake. But <laughs> I wore him out. And he did, damn he did, he ain't BSing you. But the thing is though, uh, the last sets of people I have been meeting are the frequencies that would make any nation better. Not oh, just this you. one. Thank you. It's You're it's done. all about what's here. Yeah. And I really want to, without taking your time, because we don't want to interrupt this now, <laughs> I want to both thank you very much. Leanne and I do it, okay? Because we've been spending a lot of time, and you've been making our week. This is anything but work, guy. Thank you. It's Good. been fun. And I hope it can continue for years, yeah, thank you. years and years, yeah. because you won't be far away from me. Yeah. That's a blessing, and that yeah. could be a curse. But we'll worry about that later, okay? But yeah, that's I want a blessing. to ask you one other question. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be back in your home country? Well, as I say, you know, um, you know, my motivation here is, I mean, now that I came is different because before my mother was alive, she was living in Santo Domingo. So I didn't travel to, you know, like to these places like that in the country. So I was always there in, in Santo Domingo and I was not really motivated to, because it's different, like in the country it's different. So now, so here in this stage of my life is different because you know, before when I was traveling here, I took taxis, you know, and, and when the taxi asked me, so what do I do, you know, for living? So I explained to them and when they said, oh, yes, I have a kid that he's so smart. He, he can put together a car, but he but he cannot read. And I said, well, that's that's really dyslexia. I mean, if he's smart and he can do everything, but he cannot read, that's dyslexia. So, you know, that kind of drove me and I said, oh my God, I really have to go there and, and specially help the people that cannot pay. But did you, before you came back where you and met me, because mm -hmm. you've been watching the video, yeah. were you thinking of coming back more to the city life? 
No, no, no. It no. was always more of the country yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. In, in this stage of my life. Because like, we need you in cities as well. We need people with your with that kind of profession in cities too. It's all around the country that I the education know. system here is not great. But yeah. I don't know if it's great anywhere anymore. But <laughs> the thing is, yeah. uh, you know, I was just wondering if uh, it wasn't us that changed your mind to the country. You always wanted the country. Right? Yes, I okay. always wanted to come back, but I didn't expect to leave for it. Excuse me for retirement. I just wanted okay. to come and 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 do lecture, like in in the universities. You know, my my colleagues in Dallas. They told me that oh, you're gonna go there. We help you because there, you know, in our department, the special education and dyslexia department, we all are kind of different people that we want to help those kids mm -hmm. we are very passionate about what we're doing really in, in our department is. so uh, you have to be to do it though yeah. day in and day out you have to be so there. my colleagues are willing to come to the beach and help me <laughs> they say we're going well, to i want to add one little piece in there mm -hmm. i don't know whether you put it in the video or not but it's one thing to have a vision to want to come somewhere and do something for people yeah right. you know and sometimes people do that and you know they don't really want you but one of the I think that's really been encouragement for her is as she's talked to like the cleaning ladies like the taxi cab yeah. and stuff and told them what you know was in her heart to yeah. want to do the response has been oh we need you here really yes. really yeah. Yeah. yeah and 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 they say oh and 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 one of them said yeah my kid yeah he, he struggled reading so I have talked to a lot of poor people here that you know, they their kids had problem and nobody can help them because yeah. you know. So you know, that's really you know, it really get to my heart. And I said, you know, I, I once I get my my retirement, which is gonna be maybe five years, unless God opened the door before, I will come like tomorrow. <laughs> but we need you know our money for retirement. Give me some time to set up the place for you, will you? <laughs> yeah, tomorrow's a little too. <laughs> But, but but listen, I, I wanna I wanna ask one more question because I don't like to take too much time, and that is, help me to say something to the, I don't I don't care about the term gringo because it's not a cut down. No. Nope. <laughs> let's say extra genios, okay? Extra genios, foreigners. Uh, what can you say? Because a lot of subscribers of mine, for several years, because they're coming out of the woodwork now, that developing nations are coming up because of the lockdowns and this, and, and you know, first world or capitalist communities seem to be hit the hardest. So now they want to revisit, and can we really do this? But I know they're scared. Yeah. What? And I know it's not fair because you've traveled too much, but what bit of words could you suggest to I'd people probably, that are I'd probably point out two things. One, if you've never traveled outside the United States, travel outside the United States. You know, even if you never come here, you're going to go back and appreciate what you have even more. Yeah. I mean, it, that alone is worth 10 years of education at the best university. Meeting other people, meeting the other cultures, you know, having an appreciation for that for them as people and cultures, which gives you a greater appreciation. I mean, that was probably one of the first things, f you know, that I realized first time I went out of, out of country, mm -hmm. you know, coming back. Um, but secondly, you know, really do your research. Listen to Barry, listen to some other people, do your research because, you know, if you go to like government websites and this and that, you know, you're gonna hear stories and, you know, you really wanna hear the stories of the people who live in the area. That have been around you know so don't let fear be a factor that limits you from coming to at least visit if you're thinking about it come because it's like amazingly safe here it's beautiful yeah can things happen it can ha they can happen anywhere, anywhere but, in the world. yeah but you know don't listen to all the news and that kind of stuff I'm not trying to say you know anything against the news but just do a little more research to realize especially up here you know in the North Coast and, and Cabrera it's beautiful, it's peaceful, it's safe. Yeah, another thing that I wanted to add is that we, uh, we have been around, you know, to, to talk with, you know, people that sell fruits, you know, and all that in the street. And, and all of them said, oh, yes, you know, come here. They're very welcoming. They said, this is called 
The Paradise, this Cabrera, is called The Paradise of the North part. And yeah, we have food everywhere. Nobody's starving here, not even the poor, poor people. They always have, you know, food, fruits, and everything. So that's a good thing because you know how crazy is the world now that food is lacking. So here, you know, whatever happened in the world, and that's what we want. We want a safe place for our families. You know, our families that live in the United States, that, you know, something happened, we have a place here that, you know, they can come. But my dad always taught me something in closing this off, and that is nobody wants to fight with a full stomach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Guys, I want to thank you, really. Uh, I mean, this was this you. was anything, but, you know, you go through enough people, and yet you, you meet the some that are similar frequencies, and you just know you started friendships. Yeah. So when you guys head back, uh, I don't say where you're from, but when you head back to the States, which is, you know, that's the beginning of it. That's not the end of it. And I think that's the sweetest thing about this whole week for Leanne yeah. and me, because yeah. Yeah, my wife too. is nuts about you, because uh, they share, uh, they're both uh, very health conscious uh, diet people, and they know, they've researched, they know, so they can talk at their level together. And for my wife, this was uh, a, a tremendous, tremendous experience, and we're going to bother them one more time for dinner before they leave too because Leanne doesn't get out of the house all that much and she really wants to and that says yeah. something special yeah. so guys thank you okay. for making this a great week for us yeah. well I yeah. I already said where I was working that's how we teacher are we just blah 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 so everybody knows where I work yeah. well, we that's love beautiful. you we want to thank you for introducing us to your wife yeah we've thoroughly enjoyed her as well yeah she's much nicer than you but that's a fact that's, that's easy to be I mean I've got big shoulders and that's real easy to be but it's Barry and DR. Till next time, we'll catch you on the side. Bye now.